Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chum. Let's get into some hot topics. I think these are pretty good. Let's go. Y'all, I have talked about this election. I have a panel of people where we talk about the election, the political polls. Um, this may be my last post about the election because at this point, if you don't know what you are going to do at this point, I don't even know what to say. If this right here doesn't show you, Trump rally speaker jokes about black people carving watermelons. He pointed out a black man and he said something about him having a lampshade on his head. And he said, oh yeah, we were together carving watermelons. Like this was the opening act for Trump to come out, right? Hold on. Then in the Latino community, he said that there is trash. No, my bad. There is garbage floating in the middle of the ocean. It's called Puerto Rico. And then went on to say how they have children, how they don't stop when they're getting ready to create, and how he welcomes them with open arms, saying, go back. That's what he said. Then Dr. Phil got up there and said, this country was built on hard work. He forgot to insert on the backs of black slaves, but he did not forget to say, not D-E-I. Like, it's in your face. They have doubled down in this coming up to the 11th hour. They are going harder than ever. Like they're telling you who they are. My Angelou's words could never be more real than right now. This is so disrespectful. They love making babies too. Just know that they do. There is no pulling out. You can read the rest. This is from um, Stephen Miller's speech. He mirrored a um, famous dictator in his speech. Um, I don't know what to say. Y'all really need to pay attention to this. I'm going to go on and get into the hot topics, but this is a serious matter right here. Let's keep going. Vote blue. Now, I didn't realize that Bad Bunny and Jennifer Lopez was not on board. But now, since they've been called garbage floating in the ocean, they seem to have picked a side. So, Claudia Jordan is telling her third Diddy story, I think. She said this is a situation where he called her like 56 times because there was a photo of them posted and the caption was, Diddy leaves Cassie for deal or no deal, girl. She said he called her trying to figure out why that happened. Then she said he kind of threatened her, and then he kind of calmed down, and she kind of went off on him before she knew how he was. She said he called her 56 times. That's a little excessive. Like, that didn't make you just want to not answer the phone? Let's keep going. So Diddy still thinks he's in control, right? Um, he was denied his gag order from the judge because he doesn't want the government to leak information about his trial to the media i think the judge was like absolutely not and they wanted to make sure it was certain things so it doesn't you know the jury or anything it doesn't sway them in any way but other than that did you can just sit down sir on that little two inch mattress sit down did y'all see this Dwayne wade statue it was unveiled Sunday. Dwayne said, this is out of body. This is an out of body experience. I know it is, cause whose body is it? Who, who is this man, Hoppo? Cause that's supposed to be Dwayne Wade. So the statue that was unveiled Sunday was supposed to be the statue of him doing the, this is my house pose in March of 2009 when he they played against the Bulls, the Heat played against the Bulls, right? And I think even in his speech, he said, who is this guy? That was a real question. That was not a joke. <laughs> I wish I could really, really know what he was thinking. Now, this is the only thing that is true that has to do with Dwayne. That is his quote. But I wonder what he was really thinking right here. Now, I know he is, you know, he has much gratitude for even this to happen. Did you see the fallout, though? It was in a box. The panels fell down, smoke everywhere. But who is it with his number on it? I would ask them to redo this. What would you do? I would just have them redo it because <laughs> this is like Freddy Krueger. 
child, we may not hear from Jen in a minute. So Christian Walden Gold made this post yesterday on his Instagram page. I am back. So I guess he's finished being jailed. I don't know if anything is pending. But I do know he's in court today for child abandonment. I'm very happy for Jen. Her husband is home. And this morning they're in the courthouse per Simone Redwine because he has the abandonment case today. This is Jen's life. So I hope it's worth it. I hope it's made of gold, ma'am. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something about Simon. If Simon hair gets two inches longer, I'm going to feel like he's trying to grow some dreads. And I'm going to have a problem with that. But this, I'm okay with this. It was this that took me out. Because I feel like they didn't feel this little party in right there. And you, you see what I'm talking about. But <laughs> more than this. Portia ain't nothing to play with. Portia got this man, Dennis. Without his shoes on, might I add, in Simon's house, carving pumpkins with the baby as a family. Portia, you couldn't go over to Dennis' house and do this? Why is Simon in Dubai? Why is he not in the States? I mean, I know he's working. Why is he not in the States, though, like, ever? Cha. All right, Portia. I'm going to end with this. And the title of this is Weak As Men. Right? Okay. So, Nick Cannon was talking on this podcast about being married to Mariah Carey. He said they had a great marriage. They didn't argue or anything like that. But I'm not being the dude that God put me on this earth to be. When he said be fruitful and multiply, that meant with your wife. Not with anybody's child to have other anybody's childs to have all these children with right that's that's not what it meant in the bible <laughs> but he said that you know he had to look around and he said i'm married to mariah carey like i'm on an island i'm getting up at 12 my stomach's getting big i'm holding purses i'm getting steaks on platters he was like, you know, that's just not me. What that is not is you knowing how to support your wife. You knew who Mariah Carey was when you married her. Just the song Vision of Love by itself should have let you know who she was. You knew she was a mega iconic superstar in the world. She has her own orbit. Because he was like, this, you know, Mariah has her own world. You couldn't be Nick Cannon and be a husband and a father to your children? Like, the children have a mother and father in the house? Because they, they're great, right? But I'm sure they would like to have their daddy at home, too. Like all them other 13 kids you got, or 12, or 20, or however many you got. Weak. Cannot support a woman. I'm not saying live off of her. You're very much Nick Cannon. You got your things together. We, you're, you're Nick Cannon. You can still be wilding out and come home to your wife and kids. But the problem is you just wanted more kids and you wanted to sleep with more women and you could not support a strong woman. That's what this is. I can't. I simply cannot. So tonight is 7.35 Central on YouTube. The second episode of Queening in the City will be on. Uh, it's going to be a good one. I think they're all pretty good, but this is going to be a good one. So hope to see you there. So the political pulse will be Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And it will be the last one before the election. So be there for that. <laughs> I'll let you know about hot topics. We may not have them this week. We may have to have them on another night. But I'll let you know about that also. And y'all go ahead to Amazon or go to MillieChun.com and get your rose in the wind and rose with no thorns because the perfect petal is on the way. It's your girl Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.